Hey Buzzheads, it's Curtis Tucker with Enid Buzz. I just want to give you a quick little video cast update on what's going on with Pegasus. It seems to be in the news today. There's a lot going on. I'm going to try to be at uh, quite a bit of it and report, but I'm going to give you a little background on what's going on with Pegasus. I know there are a lot of you in town, especially the younger people that don't know what Pegasus is. Pegasus was started in 1986. It was a meant to be a public access channel for people to upload programs to cable television. They could go in, learn how to run the equipment, film their own shows, speak out, speak out against the city, things like that, and everything would be broadcast on Suddenlink. Suddenlink has an agreement with the city of Enid, kind of in trade for their lines. They give Enid three channels free, so there really is no cost for the three channels. They are channels 11, 12, and 19 on Suddenlink. So the only people that can see Pegasus are the people that subscribe to Suddenlink. So to see a city council meeting live or a school board live, you have to be on Suddenlink. More and more every day, fewer and fewer people are on Suddenlink. People are turning to the internet, to direct TV, dish, things like that. So that is a concern right there. But uh, the three channels on Pegasus, channel 19 is a bulletin board, it's a scrolling bulletin board, it gives you events, things going on in town. It's not interactive, it's just there, you just can read it and it just continues to scroll 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Channel 12, it looks like they consider kind of an arts channel. It seems like everything on it is pre-recorded, ballets, concerts. Voc solo vocals, theatrical performances, some classical film, things like that. Uh, a lot of it, a lot of the movies are really old. They're uh, no longer copyrighted, things like that. Channel 11 is where more of the updated, the things that people create and upload. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like as many people are creating shows on their own as they used to. If you look at the show schedule, I cannot see Sudden Link or Pegasus because I do not subscribe to Suddenlink, so I have not seen their programming in years. From looking at their show schedule, which is on their website, it looks like the majority of the programming is church-related, either church Sunday services or church-related programs. Those are not going away under anything that's going on today. Nobody is asking that any of those go away. Nobody is asking that the Suddenlink channels go away. What, what I think everybody is asking is, is the direction and the cost and the viability of what's going on at, Pe at Pegasus, does the city need to be paying that? The city pays around $185,000 a year for Pegasus to exist. That would be probably for utilities, rent, the uh, payment of the director for her position, which is Winnie Quarles right now, two members, two full-time staff that go around and video things. Pegasus is run by a board. The board does decide who they hire and fire, so they do make those decisions. They are having a meeting today at 1 to discuss what's going on at the city commission tonight, which is asking for Pegasus to be removed from under the board and the director and be moved over to under the city where maybe the director of communications over there would oversee it, but it would still be an independent place where people could still, you know, do the same thing. The stations wouldn't change. The programming at this point wouldn't change, although some people believe that maybe some of the programming, the old, you know, movies and, and ballet and things might need to be updated to a, you know, newer, younger audience. But all that will probably come about with study sessions if, if anything it changes. Now, Everybody could vote today and nothing could change. It could just, you know, continue on. What has sparked uh, the change right now is that Pegasus lost its home in the Crest Building when that was destroyed or torn down for the new hotel. They've moved into the nonprofit center, which is on Independence, but they don't have a studio there. They've taken bids. The bid to build a studio in the nonprofit center is $240,000. Towards the end of the month, the board might approve that and spend that money to create a studio. The commission, some of the commissioners believe that they would rather hold off on that $240,000 and take a look at Pegasus and see what direction it has taken. Um, 
and so uh, I've got a few of the the agendas for both things going on today are published at enid.org under meetings you can see the agendas the agenda for the Pegasus board calls for the board to meet today at 1 where they are going to discuss the resolution put forth by Commissioner Dr. Van Hooser which is to terminate the contract between the city and Pegasus move Pegasus into the realm of the technical side of the city maybe create a studio that the city would own over there and save that two hundred forty thousand dollars save money on having to have a director use Steve Keim who is currently heading the communications over there so the board of Pegasus is going to meet at one to discuss that they are also going to discuss some of the misinformation that's being put out there unfortunately uh, there was a letter put out by the executive director which made it sound like the city commission was trying to get rid of the religious programming which is not true you know nothing has been put out by the city commission to warrant that so they're going to discuss that then they may consider convening an executive session and look into whether to continue the employment of Wendy Quarles uh, you know, I, they may not do that, but they it, it is on the agenda that they're going to at least talk about that. So on the uh, city commission side of things, on their agenda tonight, they are, Dr. Van Hooser has proposed this, that they are going to consider a resolution terminating the contract for public education and governmental access, Pegasus, services between the city of Enid and Pegasus, and the lease agreement between the city of Enid, the Enid Municipal Authority, and Suddenlink. A background on that that they've published says during the City of Enid's May 15, 2013 budget hearing, commissioners discussed the effectiveness and efficiency of Pegasus and challenged Pegasus to generate at least one half of its operating revenue before the next year or funding would be eliminated. Since that time, Commissioner Van Hooser has reviewed the actions taken by Pegasus and has determined Pegasus has failed to perform to the City of Enid's standards and requests. This resolution allows discussion and or action to terminate the following agreements for cause of February 1, 2014. And that's, again, uh, the funding contract in the amount of $185,000 entered into on July 19, 2013 between the City of Enid and Pegasus. So basically Van Hooser is calling for the City Commission to take a look at Pegasus, determine if it should continue in the way that it is or should it be something else be done. And it, it will be open for discussion tonight at the City Council meeting. So you can attend the City Council meeting, sign up to talk. There will be a vote tonight I believe on this. There will be a vote on or now I don't know if there'll be a vote. There'll be a discussion of maybe what the board, maybe if the board should come to the meeting and present something. So I'm going to go to the 1 o'clock board meeting for Pegasus, try to let you guys know what's going on there. I will probably attend the city commission meeting, let you know what's going on there. Anyway, that's what's going on with Pegasus from Enid Buzz, your Enid Buzz Buzzcast, and I'm Curtis Tucker, and I'll give you more information soon. Thanks!